in uh, water management, there's maybe three main objectives we can achieve with uh, nature-based solutions. One is to increase the water availability, water availability for human consumption, but even more so for agriculture and industry. Yeah? Globally, some 70% go to agriculture, 20% go to industry, that includes energy generation, and some 10% or so goes to the domestic sector, to the households. Or to reduce the risks associated to water, droughts or floods. All these are water management objectives that we can achieve through nature-based solutions. It's difficult to give exact numbers, but a conservative estimate is that at least uh, less than 5% of the global investments into the water sector go into nature-based solutions, and more than 95% go into the more traditional water management. In many countries of the world, there is not adequate uh, brown water or domestic water sewage waste treatment. It is a common case in many parts of the world where much of the wastewater is either channeled directly to the marine sources, to the river sources, or in pits that then affects the groundwater. The result of that is an increase in waterborne diseases that are caused by these wastes that are come from human uh, kind. The reason why it takes so long is because of the financial requirements and the infrastructure requirements. It is a significant problem. Now, I, I think one of the obstacles by nature-based solution haven't been taken up so much was because they are considered complicated, we don't know them very well, and inexpensive. But I argue it's the other way around. Nature-based solutions can be more cost-effective than the classical, traditional, built human uh, human build uh, infrastructure approach i believe that definitely you also need an international agreement on water on general principles in terms of how to preserve how to protect and how to develop such sources in harmony with the environment based on nature based principles